everyone, my name is Rizzi and welcome to another new episode of Fred Gaga. I've been playing an Ibanez RG guitar for more than a decade now. But last month I decided to buy myself a brand new Fender Stratocaster. Now this is my first time playing a Fender Strat. So in this video I will be talking to you about transitioning from an Ibanez RG series guitar to a Fender Strat. I will take you through five different areas where I felt made the difference. So if you are considering buying an RG or a Fender guitar, or if you are considering switching between either of these two systems, then this video will definitely help you out. So keep watching. So let me start by telling you a little bit about my guitars and how I got to buying them. Now, I started playing the guitars when I was 15 and my heroes were Joe Satriani, Steve Vai, John Petrucci, Paul Gilbert and these guys, they all had Ibanez. So for me, Ibanez was the best guitar in the world. So I always dreamt of owning an Ibanez myself and any other guitar like a Fender Strat or a Gibson Les Paul or any other brand was just not good enough. So I never even cared to try them out. So four years ago, I got myself a brand new Ibanez top of the line RG Prestige guitar, which is this one. And this is made in Japan and it is an amazingly well-built guitar. It just plays like butter and it is beautiful, beautiful guitar. I just love this. But then uh, my musical taste sort of started to shift a little and I started listening to a lot more Hendrix and SRV or John Mayer. And I got really uh, curious about uh, playing a Strat. So recently I just thought, okay, let me just get myself a Strat and let's see how it plays. So this is a new Strat that I got and it's the Fender Player Series Stratocaster, which is the new line of Mexican uh, made guitars that Fender released this year in 2018. And this is an amazingly well-built guitar. To be honest, it never feels like it's made in Mexico. It just is as good as built as a Fender American series guitars. Now these are very, very different guitars and transitioning from either of them takes a while. So let me just take you through these five points. So number one is the body. The very first difference that you feel when you hold these guitars is the weight of the body. Now Fender is made up of all the body. So it's slightly heavier than Ibanez, which is made up of basswood. Now also Fender is very curved design. So if you look at the body here, it's sort of curved all over the place. So it's, it's very comfortable to hold on to as well. If you look at these guitars, the Ibanez has sharp edges and it especially feels different around the belly cut, which both of them have, but the Fender feels more comfortable around the region. If you look at the neck area, Ibanez has a very nicely cut out fret axis, which makes it easier to play the higher frets. So if you see right here, it's quite a blocky design here. So when you're holding the neck here, right, when you're trying to play the higher registers, it sort of hurts your hand here because it's sort of pointy uh, at the edges. Whereas if you take the Ibanez, if you just look at the back here, it's a very round curvy design. So uh, when you're trying to play the higher notes here, it just fits very comfortably into, into your, the shape of your hand. So it's a very round sort of a feeling and it's very, very comfortable to play at the higher registers. Number two is the neck. Now the neck is the most important difference between these two guitars. The Ibanez has a five piece neck construction, alternating between maple and walnut. It also has a titanium reinforcement inside, which gives the neck a lot of stability. The Fender has a single maple neck with a skunk stripe of walnut at the back. The Fender has a maple fretboard with glossy finish, which sounds brighter than the Ibanez's rosewood fretboard. But that was just the wood. The main problem is the dimensions of the neck. These two are totally different in dimensions. The Ibanez is a very, very thin neck. It's the Super Wizard HP neck made by Ibanez and it's probably the thinnest neck in the world right now. I mean, I don't know any other guitar brand who makes a thinner neck, neck than this. Now, uh, there was a time that I, I was very obsessed about buying the thinnest neck that I could get hold of. And this is probably that, but then uh, one problem that I face with this guitar is that my hand is quite small for guitaring. Now the thing is, it does have a very thin neck, but then it's got a very wide neck as well. So uh, it's very difficult for me, not very difficult, but then sort of uncomfortable for me to sort of wrap my hand or wrap my fingers around the whole fret. So especially when I come to the higher registers here, it gets a little awkward. So that, but then the fender on the other hand, feels very comfortable to hold on to. Because on this Ibanez, when I'm playing, when I shred, my hand sort of goes into this sort of a position and 
it's a little awkward to play it like this. But the Fender here is quite a thick neck in compared to the Ibanez. It's the modern C-shaped neck, so it's got a very round profile and it sits very nicely in this gap here. So you sort of feel a very strong, uh, you know, contact with the neck. Also, it's not as wide as the Ibanez. So as you can see, my fingers wrap around the neck very comfortably. Another point is the radius of the neck. The Ibanez is a very flat neck. It's got a 17 inch radius. So when you're bending, it's just very, very easy. But then on the fender, it's got a nine and a half inch radius. So it's sort of curved going from this end here. So it gets a little difficult to bend on this compared to the Ibanez, but then it's not, it's not as difficult. Uh, I mean, you can get used to it if you play it long enough. Number three is the pickups. Now these two guitars have very different pickup con configurations. If you see, the Fender has three single coil pickups, whereas the Ibanez has two humbuckers and a single coil. The Ibanez has actually DiMarzio pickups, and these are Fender standard pickups that they have for the Mexican series of guitars. Now, these pickups are a lot low output than the Ibanez, so they are a lot cleaner, and uh, the Ibanez pickups sound a lot more compressed to my ears, and they are a lot hotter, so I use them for the high gain sound, whereas for this, I can play something like Now with my Ibanez, I really like to play it for heavier tones, especially using my uh, DiMarzio Tone Zone Bridge, that's the humbucker, and uh, if I play something like this So yes, personally, for all the high gain tones, I prefer the sound of my Ibanez a lot more over the Fender. Not that the Fender can't do metal, obviously, uh, there are a lot more, lot of bands and artists who play metal with uh, Fender strats and they are doing very well. But then, personally, I like the thick and uh, fat sound of the humbuckers and they do really well for me. Number four is the bridge. Now, Ibanez has a very different bridge than of, that of a Fender. It's got a floating tremolo system, which is uh, very much like the Floyd Rose system. Now, it's not exactly Floyd Rose. It's got Ibanez's own uh, zero point system. That it's their own technology, but uh, it's almost like a Floyd Rose system anyway. And it's got a locking nut here, which really keeps the guitar in tune and the bridge is very, very stable. So uh, if you see this one, it, it it's really nicely made and the hardware quality is so good. Obviously, this one comes at a really uh, high price point, so I, uh, the hardware quality is quite expected. But then, one complaint I have about this is this this point or the joint of this a whammy bar has to be sort of screwed in and sometimes it gets a little loose, the whammy bar keeps falling around, but then uh, I would have preferred a different style of uh, lock anyway. But then, that's not the point of this video. Now the Fender also has a floating bridge, which is, uh, it's got the springs at the back as well, so it's not a fixed bridge. And it's got the new two-point floating system uh, from this line of guitars. Uh, previously they had the six-point uh, connection here at the bridge, but then now they only have it for, with two points, apparently that uh, stabilizes the tune a lot better. I wouldn't know because I haven't been using Fender before, but then, uh, that's what Fender claims to be and I think that's this they have the same exact bridge on the Fender uh, American professional and the American uh, Elite series as well so I'm I'm sure it will do pretty well but as of now as I have played it uh, for over past my one month it is quite stable it is not um, as good as the Ibanez system it does hold the tune pretty well that takes us to the fifth point, which is tuning stability. So the tuning stability of these guitars, uh, I would say the Ibanez is a lot better than this because of the uh, way the bridge is made in Ibanez and because of the zero point system. Uh, the Ibanez bridge sort of stays in tune for weeks, I would say, and I did not have to tune the guitar. Uh, like I probably tune it once in a month and it does pretty well for me. But the Fender, I have to tune it for uh, like 
in every 15 20 minutes i have to just check my tune once just to see if it's it's gone down a little but then uh it's not very bad i mean i can work with it pretty fine but that's this that's the main change that i found moving from the ibanez to the fender system that the tuning uh i i sort of have to tune my guitars are way more often than i used to and i am getting used to it also the ibanez bridge has fine tuners at this part of the bridge so my hand automatically keeps going to this part of this bridge to tune my guitars but then fender does not have that uh in my fender i have to tune it through these tuning pegs so um, that's sort of a change that i would probably get used to in some time and that's not a big deal but then yeah that's some of the change that uh you have to get used to as you move from one system or one kind of guitar to another so to sum it all up i would say i am quite liking the change from ibanez to fender strat um the point of the video was not to compare these two guitars or the compare the specs of these guitars because these are priced at a completely different levels uh, the ibanez costs somewhere around 2000 dollars which is about 1 lakh 20000 indian rupees and the fender costs somewhere around 800 or i think 700 dollars and uh, which is about 50000 rupees in indian so uh, they are very very uh, two different types of guitars placed at different price points and uh, you can't really compare them uh, directly but then the comparison was more of uh, in in the perspective of switching from one system to another so i would say there were certain difficulties when moving initially from uh, the ibanez neck to the fender now i'm used to the fender neck a lot more because it feels my hand a lot better i'm also liking the way the body feels uh, the rounded uh, shape of this body it just is very comfortable to play on also i am enjoying the new strat pickups moving on from humbuckers which have been played for so many years now so i i really pre prefer the sound of the strats now for cleaner tones but then if i have to play uh, heavier sounds i would always go back to my ibanez because it i just love the tone of the heavy thick fat humbuckers uh, when i'm playing heavy metal or something like that so that's it for today if you like my video do make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon so that you stay updated with all my latest videos i'll see you next time